Hey guys, it's Mikey Mike Mike here and in today's video, I'm going to show you two products that I use to help keep my water crystal clear, help combat algae and cyanobacteria, and help keep my corals happy and healthy. One of those products is gonna be a DIY product and the other product is something off the shelf that I've been using for years. But before we get started, I wanna say, Thank you so much for joining in on the video and thank you to the 3,000 subscribers out there. My goodness, it's been a crazy, crazy time here on YouTube. Of course, I've been learning a lot of things and as you know, I'm just a regular reef hobbyist with a regular day job. But at the end of the day, I make these videos for you because I wanna share a bit of knowledge out there. So if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider subscribing or commenting below. And I wanna say thank you to everyone for your support. It really is humbling and I'm truly grateful. All right, let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two products. The first product is calcium carbonate mixed with RODI water. The second product we'll be looking at today is Aquaforest Life Source. And this product for me is something that is available off the shelf whereas this product here is a DIY product. All right, so let's get started with the first one, the DIY product. So what is calcium carbonate? Well, it's essentially what our corals are made of. It's the skeletons of our corals and our bones. And this particular product here, you can get from a health food store for actually quite cheap. You can get it for roughly around about $15 delivered to your door. And when you mix it with water, it performs three functions in our aquarium. The first function is it acts as a flocculent. So when I dose this into my aquarium, it creates a big cloud in the aquarium, as if you're seeing a bloom of, of milk being dosed into your system. And what happens is all of those dissolved organics, all of those tannins and all of the things that exist in your aquarium that might be decaying get bound together with that flocculent and gets pulled out of the system. So the first use case scenario for that and why you might want a flocculent is when you're cleaning your glass. So if you're cleaning your glass, there's that algae dust that exists on the glass. And what this does is it binds together with that and pulls it out of the water column so that dust doesn't land on your sand bed, it doesn't go back on your glass and then grow quickly again. Of course, the flocculent also works when you see your corals sliming. When you see your corals sliming because they're either in warfare or if you've added a new coral or something has irritated them, it's a really good way of pulling that slime out of the water column. Now, the reason why is because that slime has potential toxins inside of it, which may upset the system. You may have noticed that if one coral slimes, then another one starts to do it as well. And then pretty soon, the whole aquarium is filled with it. The other reason why you might need a flocculent is, of course, when your snails get really happy in your aquarium and they start doing their thing and trying to reproduce. If you've ever woken up to a cloudy aquarium or you've ever been out in the the night and you've looked into your aquarium and you notice it's really cloudy, it could be because your snails are trying to reproduce. This particular product here helps remove all of that cloudiness very quickly. So I noticed that it takes roughly around about two mils of this product per 100 liters. Uh, and I mix it in a one to four ratio. And that, that dosage in my aquarium usually takes around about one to two hours to clear away. So it does cloud up your aquarium, don't be alarmed by it, but it only takes about one or two hours for it to be pulled out by your filtration. And by the end of it, you'll actually notice that your water is crystal clear. Now, of course, there are some other benefits to this as well. That is, of course, you can use it to neutralize acids, so it's been known to do that. The other thing that people use it for is a very minor one, and that is to tackle vermited snails. Now, if you've ever seen vermited snails in your system, that's those snails that don't actually look like snails, but they're little worms that kind of come out of your rocks and shoot out slime. Well, this particular product here helps the vermited 
essentially eat it up and then what happens is it clogs them up. Now, of course, this isn't peer reviewed, it's only anecdotal evidence. Now, you can speak to some of the other prominent reef keepers who know about this method and ask them what's their experience being with it or you can try for yourself and see if it works. At the end of the day, it's pretty much harmless to try that. Now, on to the main reason why I would use this is to clean my aquarium and ensure that good bacteria is being circulated over the system and onto the rocks. And that ultimately helps fight cyanobacteria. So if you dose calcium carbonate water with a cleaning bacteria product, then what happens is that bacteria binds to that calcium carbonate and gets distributed all over your aquarium, but helps to land onto the surface of your rocks onto the surface of the cyanobacteria and ultimately outcompete it and smother it. So that's how you can use calcium carbonate along with bacteria to actually combat algae, specifically cyanobacteria, one of the slime algae that occur in our system. This is also a purely natural method, which means that you're not nuking your tank or your biological system, with some of the products that exist out there, such as ChemiClean, which is known to upset the balance of your bacteria and may also cause certain systems to really not have a good time. This here, I found whenever I dose it, doesn't upset my corals at all. It's completely safe and at the end of the day, it's something that occurs naturally in our reefs and so the corals have no issues with it at all. All right. Now onto the next product. And this one here is Aquaforest Life Source. Now full disclosure, I purchased this with my own money. It's something that I've been using for years. So I'm just here to promote something that I believe works. I'm not paid by Aquaforest to share this with you. And what is Aquaforest Life Source? Well, it's essentially a mud that is pulled out of the waters of the Pacific Islands. And inside of this mud, is something that we cannot get in this product, which is why I think this product does all of the things that the DIY calcium carbonate dosing does, but even better. So what you'll find is inside of this tub here is a very thick sludgy mud. And what it does is A, it helps act as a flocculent to keep that water really crystal clear. It binds together with all of those nasty particles and slimes and pulls it out of the water. The second thing it does though, is it contains all of the good biome, all of that really good, healthy, beneficial bacteria and a very diverse array of bacteria because it comes as a natural and wet product. So when you add this to your aquarium, you're not just adding in a flocculent, but you're also adding all of that really good bacteria that helps to smother the cyanobacteria, it helps to cover your rocks, it helps to clean away your system as well. The third thing that's existing inside of this product is of course the minerals that exist inside of that mud. Now I've spoken before about how a lot of our corals, when you see them in the ocean, especially LPS, don't actually come from crystal clean waters. They actually come from the mouths of rivers in silty areas that are surrounded by seaweed and of course, surrounded by mud. And so this particular product here takes all of those healthy nutrients and places them back into your system. So when I compare them side by side, of course, they are really, really good at keeping your system clean. They're really good at adding extra nutrients and bacteria to your system and ultimately they are a natural method. So for me, these two work in my reef keeping toolkit as a way of preventing my reef tank from getting nasty diseases, nasty cyanobacteria in particular, and of course, keeping it crystal clean for a little bit longer. Alrighty, so there you have it. Two natural methods that you can use to keep your aquarium clean to prevent cyanobacteria from accumulating in your system and fighting it off. And of course, acting as a way to transport nutrients and amino acids throughout your aquarium. 
So there's so many benefits to this, which makes me wonder why aren't so many people using this particular product on an almost you know, weekly basis? Because for me, these are actually really good value propositions. If you think about it, it's one of the cheapest types of filters that you can actually get, whether it be a $15 tub of calcium carbonate or this particular tub here, which costs me roughly around about $60, but has the added benefit of the bacteria and the minerals, then you're really thinking about it as one of the really cheapest filters that exists out there for our systems. Actually, this particular product here, when I think about it, lasts me roughly around about two years if I dose it at the recommended dose. So as a value proposition, both of these, including the one off the shelf, is actually really good value. So if you haven't tried them already, I really do recommend you try either the DIY version, or if you want the added benefit of the bacteria and the trace minerals, then go for the Aquaforest Life Source. All right, everyone, I really hope that this video has been helpful for you. If you haven't considered these natural methods for keeping your aquarium clean, then my advice is give them a shot because they are perfectly safe to do so. At the end of the day, I'm here to share with you just a little bit of knowledge based upon my experience. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please hit that like button below because it really helps promote this channel for other reef keepers to see what's going on. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already because I aim to put out videos every single week. And finally, please leave a comment below. Have you used calcium carbonate? That's not calcium hydroxide, mind you, to keep your aquariums clean. Or have you used Aquaforest Life Source as well? Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna say thank you so much for being a part of this and I will see you in next week's video. Cheers, everyone. Bye.